Today we're going to talk about how to properly check and adjust the throttle valves and throttle valve switches on Vanagons with Digifont fuel injection. Specifically, what we'll look at is problems that could cause idle speed fluctuations or other performance problems, problems caused by throttle shaft wear. We're going to look at how to properly check for throttle shaft wear and how to properly check and adjust the throttle valve and the throttle valve switch. If the customer complains that his idle speed increases when the AC is turned on or that the engine bucks or jerks during light throttle, we'll need to take a look at the throttle shaft for wear. Now with the engine at operating temperature, simply hold the shaft here and move it fore and aft and side to side. A little up and down movement is normal. Now if you suspect that the shaft is worn, remove the throttle housing and inspect the bottom of the shaft as well. Now when checking the bottom portion of the throttle shaft, if there is enough play to where you can open and close the throttle switch, this can cause the idle speed to increase when the AC is on. Also, it could cause the engine to buck and jerk during light throttle. If this is the case, we'll need to replace the throttle housing. Now, if wear is not a problem, the next thing that we should do is check the throttle valve for correct adjustment. Now, to do this, we'll want to use a vacuum gauge and connect it to the throttle valve housing. To do this, we need to hook up a vacuum gauge at the throttle body housing here at the port for the charcoal canister control valve. Now with the vacuum gauge connected and the engine idling, the vacuum gauge should read zero, although up to one inch of vacuum is permissible. Now if the throttle valve is not adjusted correctly, this can cause the carbon canister to purge at idle. Now that could cause a rough idle, hunting, or in some cases the engine could even stall. Now this will also affect when the throttle switch opens and closes. To properly adjust the throttle valve, simply turn this screw counterclockwise until a gap exists between the stop screw and the stop. Now put a piece of paper in between the stop screw and the stop and turn back in until you feel the screw contact the stop. Now you don't want to turn the screw in too far because the throttle valve will start to open and vacuum will be supplied to the carbon canister and this will cause rough idle, hunting, and in some cases the engine to stall. Now that we know that the throttle valve is operating correctly, we'll need to take a look at the throttle switch. The throttle switch has several functions. At idle, the throttle switch sends information to the ECU that the throttle is closed. The ECU will then supply enough current to the idle stabilizer to maintain correct idle speed. This switch is also used for digital idle stabilizer, deceleration fuel shutoff, and full throttle enrichment. Now let's take a look at the adjustment on the switch. What we need to check is where the throttle switch opens and closes. This can be done on or off the engine. Attach a set of test leads from a volt ohm meter to the two male connectors from the throttle switch. Now set your ohm meter to 200 ohms. The ohm meter should read zero ohms or continuity, signifying switch closed. If it doesn't, the switch will need to be adjusted. Slowly open the throttle valve by hand we should be able to hear the throttle valve switch click open just off of idle. And also, the ohm meter reading should now be OL, or infinity, signifying switch open. Then close the throttle switch. We should now hear the switch close, and the meter reading should be zero. This is important. If the switch sticks open, it could cause the engine to stall when cold, and also, no deceleration fuel shutoff. Now let's go through the adjustment for the throttle valve switch. Open the throttle valve slowly and put a feeler gauge between the throttle stop and the throttle stop screw. I'm using a 7 hundredths of a millimeter feeler gauge. The closing point of the throttle switch should be between 5 hundredths of a millimeter or 10 hundredths of a millimeter. If the gap is too large, it could cause the engine to buck or to jerk during light throttle. If the gap is too small, it could cause the engine to stall when cold. Also, the deceleration fuel shutoff and idle stabilizer will not work properly. Now, to adjust the switch, loosen this screw here. 
And using the eccentric here, you can adjust the switch in or out. Now I'm going to use a 7 hundredths of a millimeter feeler gauge between the stop screw and the stop. We want to adjust the switch so it closes at this point. Now you can verify that the switch closes by using a multimeter. One thing else is, remember, don't use this stop screw to adjust the throttle switch. As a final check, use the accelerator pedal to activate the throttle valve. Now what we're checking for here is to make sure that the throttle linkage is not binding and preventing the throttle valve from returning to its stop. Make sure you use an ohm meter to ensure that the throttle switch is closing. Now things to remember are check for throttle shaft wear, check the throttle valve stop using a vacuum gauge. Remember, don't use the throttle stop adjustment to adjust the throttle switch. Check the throttle switch adjustment using a volt ohm meter. Check the throttle switch operation using the accelerator linkage. And the last thing to do, which is the most important, is to quality check your work by a visual inspection and a road test.